What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're unveiling the Blood Sugar Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette and girl, I know the internet is dying to see me open this box so let me jump right into it. Today we are of course going to show you the entire Love Sick collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics which features the coveted Blood Sugar Palette. Now, Oh my god, I have been working on this for months and I'm so excited to finally show you everything. It is a different color story than my previous palettes. Of course, Beauty Killer and Androgyny were very unique on their own and they had their own moments and now it's time for the future. So 2018, here we are. My brand, of course, turned three years old just a few months ago and it is just so unreal that everything just keeps growing and you guys are loving everything that I'm putting out. So first of all, before I even unveil everything, Thank you for the support, and I literally do everything for you guys, so seeing the feedback from the packaging so far before you guys have even seen me open everything was like crazy. So thank you for that. That really just made me even extra excited to just show everything. So this collection is all red, of course. Red, red, red. Girl, we are in the red season. I have done pink for so long. I'm like, what is next? We've done chrome. We've done yellow. We've done white cap. We've done black. We've done hologram. We've done pink. We've done everything. So I'm like, girl, what is next? Red chrome was speaking to me. I love it. It's almost just like a Valentine's Day Terminator type of vibe. Of course, you guys are going to see everything in a minute. I think it's time for me to shut my mouth and show you guys the palette. Now, Blood Sugar, of course, is my third palette. And when you buy it, bam, it comes in a box like this. Now, look, I am so excited to show you guys everything. So we're about to pop this baby open. But before I even open this, I do want to say I wanted to create something a little different. Now, in the makeup industry, I know a lot has already been done before. So it's like, what can you do for a palette? I was very inspired by, like, doctor medical boxes. I'm very into the medical field in general. I love reading books and watching documentaries on Netflix. I am just very into that whole thing. So when I was thinking of a theme or what to do, I started to create these shades in the lab and they're very like well, you'll see in a second I know everyone's like Bitch, shut up and open it. they're very like you'll see the story it's just different so I wanted to show that with the box this comes in a I'm gonna say it, a VCR like box if you don't know what a VCR is they're ancient <laughs> but you pull out the palette like this so of course you can see the clasps right away all the info is on the back and this is kind of like a book like moment but everything of course is here all the product info um now let's unveil her let's open her up she slides out like this and of course this is a little thicker than a normal palette so of course you guys know the androgyny palette is very thin this one is big this is like a literal box so you see the difference now this one is heavy not like overwhelmingly heavy but girl you know i love a luxurious expensive feeling box or packaging so this one definitely has some really nice weight to it now of course we have the class where you open the packaging and are we ready for the unveiling all right you guys here is the debut of the blood sugar palette so when you first open up the palette you will notice that the pan sizes are smaller than my previous palettes now listen these palettes I took it there when I first launched my brand I wanted to go really big like go big or go home and these are massive it takes people months and months to even hit pan on this so I thought okay we're gonna do 18 shades now. Beauty Killer Androgyny had 10, I wanna do more. So when I was thinking of the design, I'm like, okay, we're gonna make the pans smaller, but I am gonna show you a comparison right now compared to a MAC shadow. These pans are still very large. So I'm going to show just a normal eyeshadow, of course. This is not me shading anyone, I am just showing you a comparison because so many people I know are going to ask. So here is the size of a MAC um, eyeshadow, which of course is a little circle. So you guys, of course, can see the comparison. These are still really big pan sizes. And because the internet wants to know all the damn tea, I'm literally going to pop one of these shadows out that I've already been using and show you exactly how big they are. So here is the size of the pan. It goes in deep, so it's not like really thin where you literally get like no product. You get a nice amount of product. So that is the pan size for this, of course. Now I did make a component that had 18 pans with the um, huge size that are in these. Girl, it was so bulky and massive, I was like, no one want, no one's gonna want to travel with this or carry this around so I did make the pan size smaller but you still get a lot of product now of course everyone's gonna be asking what is the price now I did have to charge a few more dollars than my previous palettes of course there's eight more shades and you are getting this amazing packaging that is very custom so the blood sugar palette will retail for $52. I tried to keep it very fair. Now, for $52, if you divide everything, that is literally $2.80 
per shadow. Girl, you know what it is. So I wanted to be very fair with this, and I think you guys will agree for this type of setup and how many shades there are. I think $52 is very fair. And of course, everything else in the collection has the same price as the previous stuff. So let's dive in and talk about the colors. Now there is gonna be a million swatches all over the internet. There's gonna be a lot of tutorials, including one in a few days on my channel. So I'm not going to do a bunch of swatches all over my body. I feel like when you're showing off eyeshadows, it's really all about how you apply them with the brush or what you use. I think digging your finger in and rubbing them on your arm is all right for some Instagram moments, but literally no one is going to apply this entire palette with their fingers. That's just not realistic. So I think when people show off their pigments or anything, a lot of the times I've even swatched a palette from other brands where it looks beautiful on the arm. You're swatching and you're like, oh my God. And then you put it on the lid and it's like creasy and not great. So I think showing finger swatches is, uh, it's like, uh, we're gonna show you all the colors of course right now and I'm gonna like dig into some, but let's go through all of them from top, second, and third row. Now, a lot of the shade names are medical, dentistry, dessert, sweet. It's very like all in that realm. So the first shade is called Glucose, of course. It is a pure matte white. I have never created one yet, and I just love a matte, matte white. So you will notice there are three formulas in this palette. Of course, we have the iconic matte, shades and the matte formula that is in my previous palettes. And then there are three metallic shades right here. We have Blood Sugar, Sweetener, and Candy Floss. And then we have a hybrid pressed pigment, which is like almost glitter, foil, and metallic in one. Next is Sugar Cane. It is a very soft, cool tone brown, perfect for in that crease. If you just wanna do a transition shade, easy. Next we have Cake Mix which is a deeper brown that is very nice for building and just creating a perfect flawless smoky eye. And then next we have Ouch, which is a even deeper, more warm tone kind of camel brown color. I love this all over the lid. Next we have Donor, which I'm just gonna swatch this now with my finger. It is so, oh, it's so creamy. It's like, hi there. It is a very blinding, so I'm just gonna do a little swatch. Even though I don't like finger swatches, I'm gonna show you guys real quick just how easy that is to apply. Now, metallic shades, I like to take them with my finger sometimes and pat them on the lid, and then I'll take a brush and do extra and just kind of go in there and soften it. And then next, to complete the full brown smoky eye moment to get that look, we have Intravenous here, which is a very beautiful, more dark, warm toned chocolate brown. So of course, if you are afraid of neon colors, this top row will be your best friend, but if you're into diving into a little more fun, the rest of the palette will definitely intrigue you. Now Candy Floss, which if you did not know, that is what people in the UK or England call cotton candy. Now when I traveled there for the first time 10 years ago, I was dying for dessert and they had this like bag and it said candy floss and I'm like, that's can cotton candy. And everyone's like, duh, that's what we call it here. I love that name. So I used that for this beautiful beautiful metallic pink shade. I actually have this one, I need my little wand. So I have this shade right here today just to give that extra little pop of color. Next we have this matte shade which is almost like a, it's like a soft orange tone, like it's, it's different. I love it, it's called Tongue Pop and it's really great for in the crease, very good for a transition shade just like Sugar Cane or Cake Mix, it just has a little bit of like a uh, flavor to it. And this today I am wearing blended out really very softly up here. Here. And of course we have um, glucose below the um, eyebrow, so on the brow bone. Now we have Sweetener next to this. This is a full on blinding metallic shade. It is very pretty. It has pink tones in it. It's kind of peachy. It has a little bit of like golden undertone. It is flawless. All right, next we have Cavity, of course. Now, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that I have had a lot of dental work. I have been haunted by my teeth problems since I was a baby, you guys. I've had like 30 cavities from a baby to an adult. I've had eight root canals. I've had my whole entire mouth restored. It has been a crazy journey, okay? Like, one day I'm gonna do a video story time about that and show you guys the before and afters. It's scary. And I am wearing cavity all over here today. Now, next we have O Positive. Now, that is a more muted, cool-toned gray-brown. I love it. It's really good for transition and also for mixing with the bright colors if you wanna dim them down a little bit. All right, so root canal is a vibrant ultraviolet 
purple pink hybrid. It is so stunning. We actually used some of it today to mix in here. It is just a very bright color. Pack it on the lid, put it in your crease, put it in your inner corner. It's for you, baby. Let's go down to the third row. As you see, the shade Prick has a needle stamped into it instead of the normal JSC logo. I wanted to do something a little different, so I did different stamps for these corners. Now this shade is called Prick, so I used a needle. So that color, you can see it padded all over my lid. It looks so pretty, like it's such a vibrant color. It's probably the brightest shade in the palette besides Cavity. Now moving on next to it, is I had to create a matte red shade. So Cherry Soda is red. It is straight up red. I've always wanted to create a red shadow. I've been wearing red shadows probably since like literally eighth grade. Like my first color ever, if you've watched some of my story times, I wore a red eyeshadow in eighth grade to school and they called my mom like, girl, we gotta talk. And I remember stealing that rusty red color from my mom. So minus the Cherry Soda, we also have another one called Fresh Meat, which is a more dark, like mulberry burgundy shade, perfect for these mixing in. Like I live for this color. This one is actually under my lid, right under here, um, and then blended out with cherry soda. Now next to fresh meat, we have blood sugar. Of course, I named a shade after the palette, and this is a straight up rusty red. I'm actually gonna just touch this with my finger. I hate ruining the pans, so it is very like dark, rusty. I love it. I want to smoke out my entire lash line with it. We'll just show you a little red right there. Bam! I live for red shadows. And then next to Blood Sugar, we have Extraction, which is a darker version of Fresh Meat. As you can see, the tones are very different. This is more red, and this is like a straight up plum burgundy color. And last but not least, we have Shade Coma, which as you can see, the medical um, symbol is embossed in there and stamped in. And I put the shade today all in here and mixed it. So basically I'm wearing a lot of these colors and I just went in. Um, actually, I didn't go in. Lipstick Nick went in. And we have a lot of tutorials coming up of looks she created for this beauty campaign and the entire palette. We're gonna recreate them, of course, for my channel. So that will be coming up shortly. All right, you guys, so as you can see, here is the entire Blood Sugar palette. Of course, before we even dive into the other products, I want you to pause this video. I want you to sound off down below and let me know your immediate thoughts now that you have finally seen it. I think that this one is very, I'm gonna say the word wearable because there are so many looks you can create with this and I really can't wait to see what you guys all do with it. I am just like over the moon and on cloud nine right now. Also, the packaging is faux leather. I wish there was another word for that because it sounds weird. It's fake leather, it's not real. So of course you guys know my brand is vegan and cruelty free, nothing has changed here. Also, I do wanna talk about, so this is a pressed pigment palette. If you have ever used the Urban Decay electric palette or other stuff like that, MAC has pressed pigments. Basically, we're gonna give you guys a little science lesson right now. So, when you use a vegan formula, reds, pinks, purples, and that nature are really hard to perfect and make amazing. So if you want smooth, creamy mattes, you want the pigment to be off the chain, you gotta use red dyes, because if you are a vegan brand, you cannot use Carmine. Now what is Carmine? Carmine is what a lot of brands who test on animals or who are not cruelty free use in their pigments to really get rich red shades. Now what is Carmine? You can do a quick Google search, I'm gonna tell you right now. It is basically crushed beetles that people use in makeup to get red pigment. I wish I could make it up, it's been happening for years. So Carmine is actually very common in cosmetics. It's safe, but if you are not into wearing insects on your eyes, you have to use pigment. So a lot of these red dyes can stain the eye area. So on the back of the box, you will see that it says some of the shades are not um, really allowed near the immediate eye area. So you know me, I'm always gonna keep it 100% with you guys. You see my eyes, they are covered. Every color is on my lid today. So basically it is kind of a warning for people with sensitive eyes. So if you are someone that when you wipe off your makeup you don't want like your lid stained pink or any like residue in there, then you might not want to put it around your immediate eye area. Nothing crazy is gonna happen, you're not gonna go blind, nothing wild. It's just legally I have to put that on there because there is red dyes in here, just like Urban Decay and MAC. I always want the best for you guys, so that's why I made the decision to make pressed pigments as well as eyeshadow. So you will see the shade names, half the palette um, are pigments and half the palette are regular eyeshadows. All right, let's dive into the rest of the Lovesick collection. So we have a lot more to this collection and I just want to insert this. Of course, everything will be um, down below if you forget anything, but this entire collection does launch 
February 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and if you don't know your time zone, do a quick search. Now, on February 10th, everything is coming, so I'm gonna show off everything we have. We, of course, also have some Velour Liquid Lips. Now, I really wanted to do something fun with the packaging, so I know a lot of brands do not do this type of technology, but I wanted to really just take it there. So with the boxes, I did a really cool, it's not hologram, it's not holographic. It is a different technology that I found when I visited um, some trade shows in Italy and Japan, and I found this company that does this. It is unreal. You can pick different patterns and shapes and do whatever you want. I first debuted this with the Manny MUA collection. As you can see, see this how this moves? It is literally a heart, so it literally has like the side of a heart, almost like the, you know, when you go, ooh, it has one of the sides on the box, so as it moves, you can see it go crazy. And it's a very, like, eye-catching, and I love it. In this collection, you get four Velour Liquid Lip, and we are going to show them off all right now. I'm actually wearing one now with some gloss. It is called Self Control, and of course, all the packaging is in red chrome. So this shade is a beautiful lilac purple shade, and I threw some gloss over it. What is the gloss? I don't know. Maybe you'll find out later this year. The next shade is called Romeo. It is a gorgeous kind of like neon coral pink hybrid col um, color. And we're going to just give her a little swatch right here. Now this one is very bright, okay? It is not for the faint of heart. It is very like, it, it almost could be summer, but bitch, we're in winter, so you can wear this all year long. And this shade, girl, I am obsessed with it. All right, the next shade we have is called Problematic. It is a gorgeous berry shade that is just straight up like, hi, we're here. We're not playing games. We're just gonna swatch this right here. Bam, I'm gonna put some more on there. You know, hand swatches are never pretty, you guys, but hey, this is what we're doing today. So this shade is buildable. It's not streaky, but it is like a color that you definitely can layer twice if you want, but you don't need to. I'm actually gonna swatch self-control for you guys so you can see it matte and dry and not with a gloss over it. That is that shade is very opaque, such a pretty lilac. Like, girl, work. All right, and the fourth shade from this collection is called Restraints. It is this beautiful, cool-toned gray metallic. Now, this is a little bit um, of a different metallic formula. I'm working on something new, so let me know how you guys think or feel about it when you try it. It is, of course, still pigmented as hell, but just a little different type of metallic. So, this one is definitely buildable if you want, or you can wear it like with one swipe coverage as always, but I just love this shade. It's different from what I've put out before, and these four together, like, what's, what do you call an ombre with four? For ombre? Quick reminder in case you are new, all of these will retail for $18, just like the pink capped ones, so these, of course, are staying the same price. Moving on, let's talk about the lip ammunition. There are three shades. Now, two of them you may have heard of before. We'll talk about that in a second. But of course, this comes in the same beautiful, crazy box. And when you open it, you get a red chrome bullet, of course, with a silver tip. I love how this came out. I'm just like, oh. I live and die. First of all, let's talk about the two existing shades. Now these are not lip ammo shades. These are actually liquid lip shades that I turned into lip ammo because they are so highly requested. I'm like, girl, we're gonna do a few. So first up we have Androgyny. Of course I had to make a lip ammo, girl. This is literally my number one most sold liquid lip of all time. So we made a matching lip ammo, same creamy formula, same cream sickle scent. And this goes on one swipe coverage, stays on for hours, a very creamy satin finish. The second shade is Calabasas. Now this was my number one sold lipstick from last summer. Oh my God. You guys came so hard for this and it's the city I live in, baby. I had to make a lip ammo. So of course, same exact shade as the um, liquid lip, but of course in the satin finish. So ignore the lines in my hands, as you guys can see. It is the um, same shade, just different formula, and I live for this. And the third shade is called Sinister. It is a gorgeous berry shade, a little darker than Problematic, um, a lot darker, but I live for this shade. Have you guys ever seen someone swatch on their hands like this? This is what I'm doing today. Like, this, let's just go up my whole pinky. Like, girl, look at that. Yes! Bitch, one swipe coverage, you better work. We have not one, but two JSC handheld mirrors. Now, of course, we have the hot red to match all the packaging, and then a deep plum brown color, which I live for. Also, a lot of you have been asking when the pink ones are coming back in stock. Girl, 
very soon, maybe a week or two after them. They are on the way. Production is like they know. You guys sold out of this shit so quick. So of course, since the makeup bags had such an amazing response, I want to start doing more of them. So I made a holographic red one. This might be my favorite one of all time. I thought the blue and the black were killing me. Like, we know I love pink by now. But the red! Ugh! I love this. Now, if you've never seen these before, we have little star logo emblems on them, and we have the logo right there, a pocket in the front, and then there's actually a lot of room in here for all your stuff. So I know a lot of you were like, can palettes fit in there? Are you sure? And I'm like, girl, you know I got you. So the Beauty Killer palette can go right in there. Of course, you can put in the Androgyny palette, if you will. You can put lipsticks in the front. You can put them inside. And where's the Blood Sugar palette? Is she coming on my next trip? Girl, she's coming, hold on. I needed two hands for that, so you can literally put all your palettes in there and you are ready to roll. You can fit in um, liquid lips, lipsticks, compacts, anything you want and you are all set. So these will, of course, retail same price as before. This is $25 and the mirrors, where you at, are 20. All right, almost last but not least, we have three Velour lip scrubs and of course they come in chrome red packaging as well with the same unit carton. And we have three flavors. Ever since summer, this product, I know I don't post about them often, but you guys slay and kill this product. They have been like, just selling crazy. I'm like, hi. Like after the blue raspberry um, sucker and the watermelon gum, it was a wrap. So I'm like, okay, orange soda, everything. Um, those are actually coming back. They have been so highly requested. So we brought them back once, gone again. They're coming back, but for now, the new flavors are, and this might be my favorite one, we have cherry soda. Now literally, God, if you're a cherry person, you are going to be obsessed with this one. I've been diving and digging into this one a lot. I'm sick, I'm like, Mm. It's like you can taste the fizz in your mouth. It's oh, it's so yummy. If you are a fruit person or love cherry suckers, candy, or gum, this is going to be your new favorite. All right, the second flavor is candy necklace. Who wore candy necklaces as a kid? You take them, you bite them off. I wanted to capture that essence and that fragrance, and it literally is like so nostalgic when you smell this. You are going to die. Now, if you do not know, my lip scrubs are edible. Of course, they are vegan. They are infused with aloe vera and vitamin E, so they leave your uh, mouth and skin feeling flawless. Now, I did, um, of course, different sugar colors for everything. I can't. So before you put on any lipstick, doesn't have to be mine, of course, you can um, use this and it will leave you like smooth. And also, you can use them for dry skin. I'm not kidding. If your forehead's feeling a little alligator, girl, do a scoop, rub, relax. All right, now the third flavor is chocolate covered strawberry. Probably one of my favorite things to eat at night, like girl. Mm, you know when she got the munchies? It is so yummy. And I did um, the sugar a little baby pink. Now I've been using this one and scooping it out. And of course, if you do not know, these are also handmade. So everything is handled with care. So those are the three flavors. Um, let me know down below which one is your favorite. Delicious, what you barking at, girl? All right, you guys, now last but not least, this is gonna be a little mystery, okay? I know you guys are maybe gonna roll your your eyes and want to slap me upside my head but for the February season we have a new mini liquid lip bundle hi and the shades you'll have to see in a future video all right I know I'm annoying but I just kind of want to do something different I'm sure a lot of you can guess what's in here is a lot of your favorite shades so of course this will be included in the February 10th launch for the Love Sick collection. But for now, let's just play a guessing game. Fuck, let's have a little fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's reveal. I am just like, I can't stop smiling, my face hurts. <laughs> I'm just really happy. This is such a fun and proud moment. I am so excited to expand and grow my brand. And thank you guys for being here with me. Now, if you did not know, you can now shop my brand at every Morphe Brushes store location. I'm sure a lot of you saw my Snapchat. Um, I'm doing a grand opening here in California. Now, Morphe is from California, so they are in several malls. We have Brea. We have Rancho Cucamonga. We have Valley Fair up north. We have Burbank, California. And there's a lot more locations, you guys. They have Cerritos, Fresno. Uh, there's a lot of stores coming. And I'm really, really excited to grow with them. So you can shop my entire collection, my whole brand, there in person if, of course, you are near a city. But if not, you guys know the drill. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, 
February 10th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching this reveal. I cannot wait for you guys to hold this in your hands and play with it. This is like my proud moment right here. And just to really take it there, I can't wait for you guys to also see my summer palette and the fall palette and the holiday palette. Okay, I love you, bye. Mwah.